Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box and they all have links, so check that out. And if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna see the videos when they first come out, hit that notification bell. Okay, I am very excited. <laughs> I haven't painted in almost three weeks and it's like I'm giddy. So I finally found the house at a quiet moment and thought this is what I'm gonna do. Okay, I have had a suggestion. Been kind of thinking, but just really hadn't put a lot of thought into it until Ella M said, hey, do a Christmas tree. And I'm like, I'm gonna do a Christmas tree. I don't know how I'm gonna do a Christmas tree. But I'm going to do a Christmas tree. And I'm going to do it using the Posca, no, 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 the uh, Blanco Blanco and Everglade. Now, let me show you. These are my samples. So, I did Meadow. Eh. Moss, I love moss. You know, I use that a lot on my flowers. Um, for a more serious tree i would say moss would be perfect it's a little darker this is definitely a playful green and so i'm going with that this is going to be my trunk again i'm going to have to figure out do i want to do it with a brush a q-tip or just blow it and see what it does i don't know we'll get there um that's part of the fun is i don't know what i'm going to do so i'm excited so thank you ella for the uh suggestion um, I need to map this out a little bit. My trees can't be too big. Uh, it's going to have to be here. Figure the trunk would take here to here up. So it's going to have to be there. So I'm guessing, you know, when I blow with the, the blowing tool, I've got to remember... This is the size it's going to blow out to. So really, I can almost put just three for the bottom and maybe two and then one. That that may be all I can do. I can see on a bigger scale how cool that would be, but I'm not going to be able to really blow hard because, you know, on the flowers, they can get this big and that's just, that's probably going to be too big. Um... Unless I only did two and made them big. And then I could always overlap. So there's some things to think about. So this is this is my thinking process on how this goes. And I'm having trouble finding a place for my legs because I've got these drawers underneath my table with all my fabric in it. Um, I've crammed a lot of stuff into a room and, well, you know, knee space gave up. If I could keep my sprays here... Then I could do three, two, and one. If they're bigger, longer, I can really almost do two and maybe one. But that would only give me a two tier, and I really want a three. Let's see if we can just do it small. All right. So, map to here. Just say here. So that means my drops are going to have to go there. Something like that. So my drops are probably halfway. Alright, get all my stuff together. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll put some more down here to make that. But I was really loving that. Okay. So I really can't go past here or here. Do you love those new bottles, how they spit? Thank you. 
Okay, my question is, do I fill this and this up? Do I like it? I kind of want something else over here. I don't mind that. Oh, this is... So I'm going to put down here. About three drops. Yeah, there we go. I'm glad I did that. Okay. All right, two. Now here's my shape. There. So I'm going to put two up high because this other one will come out over it. So I'm going to do about, geez, new bottles. This just splatted all over me. Look at that. That's a jet out a little bit like that. And then we'll leave it and we'll let it dry. I do want to cover that up right here. Good grief, really? There. Now. And each of those colors just really adds something cool to it. Now, I'm thinking here, what am I going to do about the ornaments? But, again, in a minute. All right. I'm going to make this my last one. It's fatter than I wanted. But. It's going to be hard for us to get a point. Okay, I'm going to try this. I've got a Q-tip. Oh, we may have just discovered something fun. Look at that. If you don't mess with... That's too dry. This is still wet. And look how I was able to manipulate that. This needs bigger. Right here. These, This row. That's cool. I'm liking that. I'm glad we tried that. Alright, I'm going to do this. Look, I just keep spitting. It's all right, because I'm going to splatter it now. This is hard to do small. I will just say... <laughs> a little hot mess-ish, but hey. Uh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, let's get the teak wood. I'm going to do a trunk. I think I'm going to do this because that was, was pretty awesome. Okay. I got that saturated.
I like that. That is, um, yeah, that's going to be fun. Kind of like my tray now that I got trunk on it. Kind of looks like it's a sad little boy. All right, I'm this I'm going to fix. Um, I'm going to do this. Uh, put that in there. Okay, that I like. I do. I like my splatters on the outside. In fact, I'm gonna splatter it some more. Um, I am going to use acrylic, so I'm gonna spray this. I want to splatter it some more with that though. I need a brush. Okay. Oh, I don't want that one. I have my alcohol one, so I didn't want my watercolor ones. I don't know why I grabbed it. Okay, I'm filling this brush up. Look at it through the camera. Okay, I kind of like that. You can definitely see where you can play. So I'm going to go spray Kmart varnish. What that's going to do is completely stop all this. It will not be activated anymore. It won't get to play anymore. And then um, I'm going to use some liquid acrylic and see if that will make the ornaments and little balls and things like that. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, it is sprayed. It is dry. I've been playing a little bit, and I want, <laughs> I kind of got it really excited. So, I went over to my stuff that I buy. Everything's on clearance. If I, if it's not on clearance, I don't buy it. Uh, 37 cents. This is fabric paint, and this is what it did. Can you see this one? It's this one right here. A little glittery dark gray or silver now that second one is my cheapo from like the dollar store dollar tree or something there was a red green and silver or gold i don't know there's that one well, that's pretty cool i don't like that this one here hobby lobby that's this one it's got more iridescent little pink and there we go. You can get a good color right there. Uh, so, yeah, I just got to decide which one to use. So, I thought what I would do is put it on top of the green, see which one showed up the best. So, I've already done the iridescent one, which is the Hobby Lobby one. This one, yeah, that one shows up good. But if you don't want to show up much, that's the real pretty one. I think this one's going to be dark. Here, 37 cents. Yeah, I'm gonna pass it up. Um, yeah. I kind of think for this one, I want to do this. I don't want it to be too big. I don't want it to be real bold. I just want it to kind of be there because we're going to have ornaments on there. So, that's my choice. I'm going with that one. Then my liquid... Oh, tell me I can't get this off. There we go.
I've got a red, a neon yellow, a turquoisey blue, and orange. These are the brightest ones I could. Dark blues, I don't think would show up. I don't think they'd be real pretty. Um, so I, w I went with really bright, bright stuff. I'm going to use the bottom of a paintbrush. And let's see what this does. Yeah, I may ought to do that. Yeah, I'm going to do the glitter first. Do I want to do any outlines? Hmm. No. Okay. I'm going to start. That would be cool. I may have to do that one and do an outline like we usually do. But right now i got enough going. Whoa. Well, I definitely know what art project and we'll do with the kids next week. Oh, you have to try, you have to try this. It's like kindergarten all over again. <laughs> all right, that makes me giggle. Okay, back to the brush thing. Okay, and we'll do red and see how it shows up. Huh. Thicker acrylic may be better. It's downstairs, so I'm not going to go get it. But I can see where they would definitely make the dots if you wanted them to stay. This is going to flatten out, I believe. But if you really want them to, you know, stay raised. So glad I did that Kmart. That could have been a disaster. So if you wanted to stay raised, I would go ahead and use like a thicker bodied acrylic. This would be cool with just red. But let's make it festive. Yeah, if this stayed like this, that would be so awesome. But I do think these will dry flat. I don't know how they'll dry color-wise. I'll have to sh wait and show you. But you know, you can drop in alcohol ink and not spray it with Kmart first. And drop in the alcohol ink and make that make your ornaments. Because it's going to push this green away. Now, I don't know how much with the 
Blanco Blanco on there, that would be an, an experiment. But I think it would definitely do something cool. So this is definitely what you call a happy, fun painting that the pressure is off. It was on at first, and for some reason doing a Christmas tree and feeling like you're in kindergarten again, that pressure is off. This is fun. Um, great little warm-up, too, if you're... Uh, blue's, blue's okay. It's not going to show up great, but it's there. <laughs> I was glad I started with this. Thank you, Ella. Whoa, red. I just hope everybody's getting along all this craziness that we've got going. I've never seen anything like it, and I hope we don't again. I hope our kids survive it. Keep going for the red. Okay, this is just a little fun. I'm having a blast. Okay, wonder what I could do. No Q-tip. I know it's not, but well, on the other hand, I was gonna say I know it's probably probably look good, but <laughs> this is a play tree. All right, I'm putting the ink down there. Now I'm going to take the bottom of my brush. Uh oh, I got the blue. That's all right. That's pretty cool. There. All right. Hey, don't take life seriously and go do a Christmas tree. This has been fun. I've enjoyed it. Um, yeah. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want a splatter. That's got alcohol in it. I want to do this one. And I like those. That's what I really like about splattering is not that it has nice dots. I like the I don't know what you call that. Slapped on. Whoa. There you go. Go have fun. This was this was a lot of fun. This was a stress reliever. And we all need that these days. So y'all go have fun. Thanks for watching.